Hello my friends, it's going to be a very short video here as I don't really even have time to make one even as I'm making this, um, but I feel it very important to show this. Um, what you see happening right now, I believe that we're seeing the foundations for that grand great deception that comes at the end of time. Um, what happens really in the end of time? What are the tribulations that we know of? Well, it's it's basically a one world government under Satan. We know that all the nations combine together. And what happens when those nations combine is they fight against God in the battle we know is Armageddon. But how does it come to that? What what brings it to that point? Lots of people have lots of different ideas, but I'm going to make it really simple here. Let's look at these unidentified objects that now they're downing. Um, this last one that they just downed not that long ago is apparently over Canada now, where Trudeau gave the order to Biden to shoot it down, which that's that's something really in itself there. Uh, but we'll just let that just pass on by just for the sake of this video and the time that I have. Um, you also have the one that was just down yesterday and the other day and this balloon that they're saying is from China and all this other things. But these little objects that they're downing now, they're not saying anything about them. Um, and I believe it could be to build the foundation for something truly remarkable that nobody will believe until they actually begin to see it. Um, now, this is what led me to this that I'm going to say here. You remember the speech that Reagan gave in 1987? Is He gave this at the UN General Assembly, the United Nations, which is that one world entity that forms a one world government. Swords cannot be turned into plowshares. Can we and all nations not live in peace? In our obsession with antagonisms of the moment, we often forget how much unites all the members of humanity, Reagan said. Perhaps we need some outside, universal threat to make us recognize this common bond, Reagan proposed. And basically, the speech was about what if extraterrestrials came down to Earth and decided that they were going to war with us. Would humanity not unite then to go against them? And I believe these objects that you're seeing right now that they're shooting down, I believe it's all part of this. Either it is that, and they're going to immediately start di disclosure, or it's going to build the foundation for it at a later time that then they're going to smoothly roll into this disclosure rather than a hard disclosure. They've been doing disclosure for decades um, even going back to the movies and all of that, um, making UFOs a thing where people recognize what they mean, even changing the name now from UFO to unidentified aerial phenomena. They're doing all of these things. And it's all in preparation for Satan when he's cast down with the third of the angels, unite with the one world government who rides on his back to go and fight a battle against God. And I, I believe that with these objects that they're now downing, we very well could be seeing the beginning of this, of what their plan is to deceive the world. They're going to say there's an alien threat. They're aliens. They're not going to use anything biblical. They're not going to say they're angels. They're not going to say they're fallen. They're not going to tell you what they are. They're going to blame it on aliens because the people are already in the belief that aliens exist from everything that they've put on people over the last 70 years in culture. People are now generally accepting of it. And that's the back that they're going to ride to go against God. The angels uniting with the one world government in a battle against God. That's the end result. Um, that's something that I'm kind of saying. I don't know whether that's what's happening or not, or if I'm completely seeing something that is either going to happen on down the road, or um, maybe seeing something totally and entirely different, just dealing with the nations of the world. I'm not sure of, but I know that speech in 1987... Um, that was a prophetic nature of speech. That's the UN saying what eventually would happen. Um, and that's why Reagan did that, because this was probably already in the plans even then. Uh, because everything Satan does is on God's timetable. So everything in 1987 wasn't ready, but boy, it appears like it is right now. So just a warning to look out for this, to really see how they handle describing what these things actually are that they're now shooting down. Um, they could say that they're alien probes left behind, or they could say that they are um, they found these things, they don't know what they are, they don't know who's sending them, but they're plotting against us. Anything. Who knows what they're going to say if this is the reality of it. Um, and again, I won't know for sure until I see it, but just something to really pay attention to um, as it appears like they're now heading down this route. God bless.